Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, today, we're gonna do the daily technical analysis update for gold and silver. Uh, we're gonna go over the dollar, 10 year, do all that normal stuff, uh, and then look at the, the companies themselves. So let's jump in, and I'll talk about gold and silver and technical analysis here. Uh, so first is the dollar, the dollar was a flat day. Uh, gold, a little bit lower today. Uh, 0.36 or six and a half dollars. We're still above 1800. So I would say that's a win, a win for the day. I know it's down, but uh, the dollar ended flat it's at 92.69. It's the same spot as it is here. We're playing with this uptrend line, uh, breaking it to the downside, which would be positive for gold, positive for commodities, positive for uh, anything basically with the thesis on the channel. But we've got this in, uh, ascending wedge pattern on the very short term, which could be breaking to the downside here. Let's see what happens tomorrow and see where the dollar goes. It looks like the 10 years hanging on by a thread, probably some yield curve control or I don't know what, but nice big move. You know, the nice move here, we came up, hit our head, came back. Looks like we were trying to break here, but it's getting pushed back down. Someone is buying bonds and moving yields lower. So this is yields. So here's gold. Uh, looking at it from a short-term perspective, we've got this nice move higher with the large candlestick and small down days. We are still in that pattern. Big up day, last trading day, and then I should say two, tra two trading days ago. Today, we have a small little kind of bloody nose is what we call it. It's a tall guy with a bloody nose. Let's hope we can break here. I think we would see a very nice move uh, upward if we break um, this 1840 level. Looking at it from a big picture view, we've got this big kind of pennant formation that's, that's forming. And this is a pretty big pennant formation. Keep in mind, the larger the pennant formation, the bigger the projected up move when it breaks or if it breaks if this dollar comes down here this dollar right here if it breaks to the downside and really starts trucking lower i think we have a shot at breaking this at about 1860 up here and out of this pattern we close above you know 1900 that's a clear break and we close there that is very good so this pattern's looking very juicy we just got to wait for this to break Silver, I just took a big picture view of silver. We're kind of forming this channel here. Uh, we've got support in the 2250 range, and we want to break 28. 28 some change is what we want to break to the upside. Platinum, we've got the downtrend on the very short term. We're trying to break this downtrend right now. I like the way it looks. Got some nice big up days through here and some small down days. So let's let's see if we can punch through here. GDX, big update with the small little bloody notes. The buyers are still okay here, so we're still looking okay. Sil J is the same thing, bloody nose, bloody nose on EXK, bloody nose on EAG. Uh, Tootin Resources, looks like it was trying to break out. We've got some sellers up here at about 250. Comes up and then gets sold off. It's, it's hit this resistance line multiple times. So we got to break and close above that. Franco Nevada, again, this is this could almost be a bearish engulfing. So let's see what happens tomorrow. Um, it's very close. It's not quite, but it's very close. So we may have a, hopefully we have a small down day tomorrow or an up, you know, an update to kind of push us away from this uh, pattern, if it is a pattern. Wheat and precious metals, again, another like bloody nose sitting on the 50 day. Let's 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 push on higher, buyers. Step on in here. Sandstorm Gold. This is another smaller royalty company. Uh, we came up, pulled on back, and sometimes it wants to do a double bottom. We've got a bullish engulfing here, but a bearish, almost piercing next to it. So this is kind of conflicting information uh, right next to each other. So we'll see what happens. We 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 break to the downside here. It's going to look ugly. We, we truck on up. This would be a good buying opportunity. So. Difficult to say. I'd, I'd probably wait and see what happens tomorrow. 
And then mag silver, again, is this a bearish piercing? It's close. Let's see what tomorrow brings us. But the overall pattern, large, big up day, big white candlestick, small little down days. I mean, it, it's we'll see what happens tomorrow. And we're kind of right at this, this downtrend line as well. So that's what we have for gold and silver. We're, we're, I'm looking at the dollar. If this dollar drops out, I think we're going to move higher in the commodity complex in general and obviously in uh, gold and silver. So I, I'm remaining neutral on the situation. I have all my shares. I'm not doing anything with them. And I'm just watching it. And we're going to get some data coming out in September on how August did in real estate. Remember, real estate, in my opinion, influences interest rates in, and is a driver of inflation. So that's what I'm looking for. And it just takes time. These things don't unravel or, or, or move um, at lightning speed. So we've got time. Let's watch the data. Let's see what it brings us and where we are, you know, a, a week or two from now. If you guys like this data or if you like this presentation, give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. And thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.